everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is nisa and please don't forget to like subscribe comment share ring the bell everything i link to be linked down below in the description and let's get right into the video so right now all i'm doing is removing her shine and i've already removed her previous set but i didn't remove all of it After removing the shine, I went ahead and glued on two of her missing nails. It was her thumb and her middle finger. Here is the missing one on her, on her middle finger. I'm dehydrating. And then after this, I go in and prime her left hand. Then this is her right hand. And then I went in and did her left hand again and did the application on that hand. And now this is her second coat of primer. I will go ahead and show you guys um her pinky in real time because it was pretty quick and then the rest will be sped up and there will be some more real time portions in this video because the video did only come out to 12 minutes long I completed this set in an hour and 20 minutes if you are wondering how long it took me more like an hour and 25 um, because I did have to stop the camera and go through my settings because the video was just looking way too dark um, so I went ahead and double checked that the mode was on standard camera while I was doing her nails so that's why it took me a little bit of extra time Be mindful of the thickness that you have the nails at is a good tip I could recommend because the more layers you have on the nail, including like this, the acrylic thickness, um, it can look even thicker than it's really supposed to. So just be careful with that. So I went ahead and did a little bit of color correction on the video because it was orange. Um, so as you see, it looks a little bit more blue. That is why I just could not have the video looking orange, orange, orange um, because it just does not look good. So all I'm doing is making sure there is no acrylic stuck to her skin or any glue or anything like that because if the drill bit hits it, it will get stuck in that area and it will kind of dig it out um, until the bit can come free. So you just want to go ahead and remove that and it also helps get your shape a little bit together because if everything is so wide still you kind of can't see um the final outcome without bringing it in just a little bit and then all i'm doing right now is going around the cuticle area as well as thinning the nail down in some places
So I went ahead and left the thumb in real time for you all. And now I'm going in with the same 180 grit sanding band and going over the nails to get it nice and even. You can do this with a hand file, but going over that cuticle one more time, make sure it's really, really, really sealed and there is nothing on the skin as well as this gets out the scratches much better than a hand file to me um just because it's so fast um it does really good at making everything very smooth if you know how to get it that way but if um you still get those ridges even with the sandy band you may have to go in with the hand file afterwards but it just helps lessen them now i'm going in with some black gel polish from model ones it doesn't matter who it's from and also it does not have to be um full opacity super super black as you can see it is a little bit clear you can also mix black and clear together um if you want to you just really need a darker color to make the chrome pop and all i'm doing is one coat of black and i am making sure to clean up any excess black gel polish because the chrome will stick to it like a magnet make sure your black has a tacky layer you can also top coat um your black you can use a non-white top coat and it does stick to the chrome very 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 well so be careful if you're doing a design and you're using non-white top coat because the chrome will still stick to the top coat um you can also use a base coat it'll stick to it so just be very careful um if you top coat the nail with a non-wipe top coat um i know it does change the design of the chrome just a little bit but make sure your black application is very very smooth if not then um it will cure with um like wrinkles in it you'll see in some of her nails the black was not very smooth because it didn't cure um flat now all you do after you cure it for a full 60 seconds some people do 30 some people do 45 i do a full 60 and my chrome still rubs on very nice um i've never had an issue with any chrome peeling before typically i just coat it with one layer of top coat after i'm done rubbing the chrome in and it's fine but i went ahead and did two because um i'm doing it on my mom's nails so she's a little bit rough so that is why and after you are done using your chrome some people's chrome gets everywhere and like really messy i've had those days where my chrome is just going everywhere but use a small amount and really rub it in there and then dip a little bit more and then rub it on and it works so much better just make sure your little sponge is full of chrome as you can see very very little was all that was needed and then i do go in with my finger and rub it down to make sure there is no loose chrome um powder just sitting on the surface that'll just go into some top coat or something uh so really rub it in with your finger after the fact your finger may turn green if there is excess chrome you can go in with chrome on your finger and rub it in as well um if you really need to but now after i've dusted the nails off and after this i will wipe the skin off because if you try and wipe it before um all that's gonna happen is your chrome is gonna come off that nail because you will hit it with the little nail wipe um or your brush so just go in and top coat it some people do have a chrome top coat where it's okay if chrome or glitter particles get in it um this is a regular beetles top coat and i did two layers my first layer i was being very gentle and kind of floating it over and then this layer i'm really going in and making sure i top coat fully and then throw on some cuticle oil and rub it in after i go ahead and clean her skin off from any chrome and then that will be it i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like subscribe comment share and ring the bell the only thing that is on here is some nail wipe not some nail wipe some nail cleanse um i'll see you in my next one bye
if you are planning on doing a second filing, just know it will 100% remove the Chrome wherever you file. So you might not want to do a second filing process. Um, it just depends. But I know for my mom, she specifically requested it because it does bring in the shade just a little bit more.